want to go back with another lesson. Hey, we're saying that first and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakar Kodash. Next, double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to this Bible. Hey, peace and blessing to all you sincere Akims, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability. The gospel of people here for a bear. This week's GMS on the going to call it um, the eyes of the Lord. And what's the eyes of the Lord? The angels, man. And they're constantly watching this place called America. They're watching what's going on throughout the four corners of the earth, man. The angels are, okay? And they're not white, so-called white babies with wings, man, okay? They're angelic powers, man, okay? One angel, you know what I'm saying, alone, you know what I'm saying, can destroy the whole earth, man. But then you got people playing around, lot of gagging, uh, committing wicked acts, thinking you're getting away with something. But you're not getting away with anything, man. Why? Because the God of the Bible got the angels watching everybody 24-7, man. Around the clock, the angels, they don't need sleep like we do. When you sleep, and guess what? It's an angel, you know what I'm saying, watching what you're doing, man. At all times, man. And we're going to prove it according to the Bible, man. These, these Rothschilds, these Gettys, these Bloombergs, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are Hebrew Israelites, and these other heathens like the so-called white man, Chinese, Japanese, African, Arab, um, Dahe, East Indian, these Hawaiians, we're all being watched by the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, man. So the first scripture I want to get, because some people think they're getting away with something, man. You're not getting away with nothing, man. The servants of the Lord, we're not getting away with anything. That's why we walk around like we're walking on eggshells, man. Because we know we're constantly being watched. See, the so-called white man, he's trying to play the Heavenly Father and the Son by putting cameras everywhere. By putting cameras in the, um, the cable box. By putting cameras on the light poles. You know? By putting cameras in your phone. He's trying to watch everybody. He's trying to play the Heavenly Father and the Son. You have a bunch of shot. But at the same time, the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the eagle they call God and Jesus Christ, got the angels watching everybody, right? So ain't nobody getting away with nothing, man. Uh, the things that you do in the closet, behind closed doors, you're not getting away with it, because guess what? There's an angel there, man, watching. At all times, watching, man. So the name of this gym that's on the go right here is called um, Eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, man. So we're going to hop right into it. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, which are the angels, are in every place. See, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, man. Everywhere, man. You, you, can, you can't even fathom how many angels are around you, man. And the scriptures say, which um, this is one of the um, scriptures I got in this lesson, um, Psalms chapter 34. The angels of the Lord and kept it around about them that fear him and delivereth them. And when you look up that word and kept, it means um, to besiege. You know what I'm it means besiege. Like when the Romans besieged Jerusalem in 70 AD, they surrounded the whole city, right? You know what I'm saying? No one can get in and no one can get out. That's just like that, um, the servants of the Lord. The angels are surrounding them. Making sure, you know what I'm saying, can't none of those demonic spirits, you know what I'm saying, forces get in, man, okay? But you're constantly being protected. As long as you're part of the umbrella of your house, by Shem Shai, man, you got that hedge of protection, man. But the ones of our people that don't um, believe in your house, by Shem Shai, they have no hedge of protection, man, okay? So once again, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord, your house, by Shem Shai, once again, which are the angels, are in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. So anytime you think you're getting away with something, you're not getting away with anything. All the um, wonderful um, uh, righteous acts that you commit on this earth, the angels are watching that. All the wicked, you know what I'm saying, uh, unlawful acts that you commit, guess what? The angels are watching that, man. Like when a woman, you know what I'm saying, got a man and she's married to him and she goes out, you know what I'm saying, and commits adultery, meaning she has a man and she go out and mess with the next man. And she think nobody ain't going to never find out about it. Guess what? The angels are already recording that, man. And you're going to be held accountable for that. Just like a man that knows that a woman has a man, you know, and he still refuses to let her, leave her alone, and he goes out there and sleeps with her. Hey, look, you think he got away with it, but the angels was watching, man, okay? Writing down, man. Writing it down. So when that person gets judged, you know what I'm saying, he ain't going to be able to say he didn't do it. Why? Because it's already being recorded. Everything that we do on this face of the earth, everybody, it's being recorded by the angels, man. Beholding the, beholding what? Beholding the evil and the good. 
So no matter what you do on this face of the earth, you got the angels watching you constantly, man. Okay? The angels are watching these false prophets break down the scriptures wrong and lead our people, you know what I'm saying, to the slaughter. Okay? The angels are watching what we do when we break down the scriptures the right way and they're recording that. The angels are um, watching the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, a poison the air with chemtrails, the water being fluorided, um, being poisoned with um, fluoride, GMO foods. Okay? The angels are seeing all that, man. Okay? So ain't nobody getting away with nothing, man. Once again, the angels of the Lord are seeing our people selling drugs, game banging, um, celebrating these pagan customs, all that, man. And, and look, the angels see what these false pastors are doing too, man. You think they don't? You, you know what I'm saying? The false pastors telling you one thing according to the Bible, but then they're doing the opposite, man. Okay? Eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobsters. The angels see, see all that, man. So once again, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, are, are in every place, beholding the evil and the good, man. So no matter what you do throughout your day, the angels are recording, man. And they see everything you do. They see how you're treating brethren. You know what I'm saying? You know? All that, man. So that's why you got to be real mindful. Because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living power. You got to be real mindful how you walk around in this earth, man. Okay? You got to be on real circumspect, man. Okay? You got to pray for discernment, man. Because guess what? You're constantly being watched, man. And I got and I got a couple more scriptures that I want to bring out through the spirit of you have by Shemel Shot. We're constantly being watched by the by the angels, man. Oh yeah, since I since I mentioned that um that song, I want to get that right quick. About the angels that camp round about the men of the Lord that fear them. So this is um Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord, which are the eyes of the Lord, aka the angels, it campeth around about them that fear him. And delivereth them. So the angels of the Lord, they encamp around the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing a part of that. The men of the nation of Israel, the fear you have by Shem Yahushat, the eye, the angels, which are the eyes of the Lord, and kept around about them, man. Okay? And make sure everything goes well with them, man. What it say again? Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushat, and kept it round about them that fear him. Because the beginning of knowledge is the fear you have by Shem Yahushai, right? And deliver of them. So when all hell break loose, hey, the angels, you know what I'm saying, is going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel out of harm's way, man. Okay? Why? Because they, they, they fear the God of the Bible, man. You have by Shem Yahushai. That's why they're going to get delivered, man. Because they fear the God of the Bible. Let's go into the book of Sarah. Got a couple of scriptures, man. So just going into a lesson to live bread with no aid. Do what is right according to the Bible, man. Because you got the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels constantly watching you, man. And since I'm doing a lesson, you know, most definitely, I'm, I'm taking heed to this lesson. Okay? This is on um, Sarah chapter 23. Verse, uh, let me see, hold on. 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not. That the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, that's the Lord, are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So the eyes of the Lord, man, you can't even fathom once again, man. I mean, you can't even fathom in the brain that we have been given. You know what I'm saying? In your mind capacity, you can't even fathom how many angels are around, man. Okay? 10,000 times brighter than the sun, you can't even really look at the sun, man. When you look at the sun, you kind of got to look at it like, kind of like, like that. You really can't stare at the sun because it'll blind you, man. Okay, if you look at it too long. But it says the angels of the Lord, what? Once again, so rock. Chapter 23, verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Look, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts, things about you that you didn't did, you know what I'm saying, that nobody else don't know about, guess what? The angels already didn't recorded it, man, okay? It says the most secret things, man, the most secret parts, okay? The lies you didn't told, the things you didn't did, the, um, the pagan idols that you didn't worship, you know what I'm saying? The false religions that you're into that don't nobody else know about. Okay, things you probably didn't do, you know what I'm saying, like 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago, if you're old enough, 
and you go back that far, all that was recorded, man, okay? Once again, Sirach chapter 23, verse 19. Such a man only feared the eyes of men. See, that's one thing about our people. They're scared about, they, they fear the so-called white man. They don't fear the God of the Bible. So they do anything according to the so-called white man's rule. You know what I'm saying? They don't fear, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, what the Bible say, okay? That's why they do what they do. Because if they fear the God of the Bible, they would keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible to the best of their ability. But they fear the so-called white man, right? So they keep his laws. And then they say, the hell with the God of the Bible laws. You know? That's why the scripture says this. Such a man only feared the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. And you can't even fathom that. If something is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, that means angels everywhere, man. Okay? Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts, like when these, um, when the elites have their secret councils, you know what I'm saying? Do their backroom deals, so forth and so on. Hey, it's angels right there, man, recording everything, man. Okay? Like when they, when, they, um, when the elites was on Jekyll Island, you know what I'm saying? Doing their, um, their secret deals, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it was the angels was there, man, recording all that, man. Okay, when the so-called white you know, when the so-called white man was coming up with plans, you know what I'm saying, to um, overthrow the Native American Indians, when they were sitting down at the table writing it down, guess who was there? The angels. When the um, when the so-called white man was writing his so-called constitution, you know what I'm saying? Guess who was there? The angels, man. Okay, all that, man. These false prophets, when they sit down, you know what I'm saying, and um, and took the, that Judas purse. You know what I'm saying? To not teach the truth. When these false prophets sat down, you know what I'm saying, made deals, you know what I'm saying? When they sold out, guess who was there? The angels of the Lord, man. They was there recording all your backroom deals, man. Okay? Beholding all the secret parts. Because guess what? You're not getting away with nothing. Anytime you stop teaching the name of Yahweh by Shemia Shai, you took a bribe, man. And guess what? The angels recorded it, man. Okay? The angels recorded it, man. Anytime you, you teach that the, um, the earth is flat, you know what I'm saying? You was paid off. And guess what? You have about Shemir Abba Shai seen you taking that purse, man. All right? When you teach anything contrary to the words that you have about Shemir Abba Shai, and you take that deal, you have about Shemir Abba Shai had the angels recording all of it, man. So ain't nobody getting away with nothing, right? So let me read the last part of that scripture. And consider, look, beholding all the ways of men. This is, I'm reading out of the book of Sirach, the, uh, the 23rd chapter, verse 19 at the bottom. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts, man. Okay? Brothers that's out there, you know what I'm saying, that's involved in the camps. You know what I'm saying? But they doing nonsense when they ain't around the camps. Guess what? The angels of the Lord are watching you now. Okay? The angels of the Lord are watching all of us. Just remember that, man. Okay? Considering the most secret parts. Things that you're doing behind closed doors that don't nobody know about. Hey. Be mindful that the angels are recording it, man, okay? We're supposed to be scared to death of the God of the Bible. Because if you read in these scriptures, you know that the angels are constantly watching us, man, okay? Making sure we're doing what's right according to the Bible and not being hypocrites, man. Don't be a hypocrite, man. I got another one in the book of Sirach. The 39th chapter. This is um, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes, chapter 39. Verse, verse 19, the works of all flesh are before him, and nothing can be hid from his eyes. Nothing can be hid from the eyes of Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, which are the angels, man. Because the eyes of the Lord are the angels. So can't nothing be hid from them, man. Nothing at all. And that scripture is heavy, man. You know, you got guys, you know what I'm saying, that it's supposed to be in this truth, but at the same time, they celebrate Christmas. They celebrate, they celebrate Valentine's Day. They're celebrating their birthday. Their wife's birthday. So forth and so on, man. Okay? They're celebrating um, Easter. They're celebrating Halloween, if I ain't already said. Valentine's Day. St. Patrick's Day. You know? Mother's Day. But then they say they in the truth. They eat pork on the low. Shrimp, crab, lobsters on the low. They smoking cigarettes on the low. They smoking blunts on the low. Okay? What the scripture say again? So, Rock chapter 39, verse 19. The works of all flesh 
are before him. Before you have Hashem Yahweh right? And nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing can be hid from his eyes. Why? Because the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Meaning you got angels everywhere, man. So brothers, be mindful. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian men, women, and children, be mindful. That you got angels constantly watching you, man. At all times of the day. 24-7, man. Okay? Now, I'm going to read that one more time, man. So, Rock chapter 39, verse 19. The works of all flesh are before him. And nothing can be hid from his eyes. Nothing, man, can be hid from the eyes of Yahweh. By Shem was shot. And I got one. I got two more. And then I'm going to wrap it up. Going to the book of 2 Chronicles. Chapter 9. So anytime you think you're getting away with something, starting off with you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and you other heathens, the so-called white man, when we was being carted over here on cargo slave ships, you know what I'm saying? When we was being lynched, when we was being, you know what I'm saying, um, set a fire, when we was being fed to alligators when the Native American Indians were being burnt, when they was being chased through the whip, through these woods and all that, man, the angels was right there watching you so-called white people, man, okay? Watching you, man. Okay? When you do the eating, Africans came together with the Arabs, with these musty armpit smelling Arabs, and rounded us up in, um, um, in, in different parts of so-called Africa. The eyes of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, which was the angels, was right there looking, man, recording, man. You didn't get away with nothing either, man. You didn't get away with nothing either, man. You gooks. You know what I'm saying? You gooks. You chinks. Y'all ain't get away with nothing either, man. Nobody got away with nothing, man. Okay? Nobody. We didn't. Y'all didn't. Why? Because the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Beholding, beholding all the ways of men. So this is um, 2 Chronicles chapter um, 16, verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, which are the angels, run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. So most definitely the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, are constantly watching us, starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. You know? Our mind is towards you. How about Shemel Shai? So we constantly being watched, right? And everybody else too. But the angels are most definitely watching the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, a part of that, you know? Like the scripture just said, I'm going to read that again. 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, once again, all the angels run to and fro throughout the earth. Look, that's why you see them chariot sightings all the time, man. You know? And plus the eye, the, uh, the angels ain't even got to be in the chariots all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it's angels that camp around me in this room right about now, man. Why? Because I fear you how about Shemel was shot. Pursuant to the scripture that I just read in Psalms, the 34th chapter, man. You know? The angels encamp round about the men that fear the Lord, man. Okay? So I got angels around me right about now. I just can't see them, man. Okay? Protecting me, man. And it's a wonderful thing to feel protected, man, in a wicked, in a wicked kingdom, man. Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. One more time. For the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel was shot. Which are the angels? Run to and fro throughout the whole earth. I Meaning they, they go from here back to the spiritual realm, from the spiritual realm back down here. They run it to and fro, right? Throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Wherein thou hast done foolishness, foolishness, foolish, foolishness, knee, lee. Therefore, from henceforth, Thou shalt have wars. But the main part of that scripture that I want to bring out is that the angels of the Lord are running to and fro throughout the whole earth, man. You know, watching everything, man. Watching everybody, okay? And I got one more, and I'm going to wrap it up. Just wanted to bring out some quick precepts on the eyes of the Lord, man. Letting you know, man, hey, walk around like you walking on eggshells, man, okay? Because the eyes of the Lord are constantly watching, man. You, you heard that Michael Jackson made a song, um, 
I always feel like somebody's watching me because it is somebody always watching you. You got the so-called white man. He think he's he's the only one watching people. Well, guess what? You got somebody watching you, yo. And it's the angels of the Lord, man. And they're reporting everything that you do, man. Okay? Um, this is Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. Once again, Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, which are the angels, are upon the sinful kingdom. What's that sinful kingdom? First and foremost, it's really talking about you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. But, but it also could be talking about um, America, man, that sinful kingdom, right? And the angels are upon this sinful kingdom. They watching this place, right? And why is America known as that sinful kingdom? Because it breaks all the laws, statutes, commandments of this Bible. It has broken every last law, statutes, commandment of this Bible, hands down. Even up until this day, it's still doing it. It ain't never stopped. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And that would destroy it from off the face of the earth. So America's going to be destroyed soon come, man. The angels of the Lord are watching everything wicked that goes down here in America, man. And the good that goes down here in America. What's the only good is the men of the Lord preaching this, this blessed word right here. That's what makes them good. Preaching this word right here, man. Okay? That's why the scriptures say, seek good and not evil that ye may live. The good is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, man. Okay? So the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, are watching this place. And the, the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, has got their eyes on destroying this place, man. Okay? And I would destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's why the behoove you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians to get right with the God of the Bible, man. Because soon come, the Lord, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, Lord Yahweh Shai, and the angels are going to be shooting laser beams on this place soon come, man. You know? Turning turn damn near everybody to, back to ashes, man, and dust. You know? Except for the elect. Okay? Saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. So when the Lord do come, you know what I'm saying, him and the angels, and they come to destroy America, he's not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob, which consists of unique roles, Latinos, and Native American Indians, the Hebrew Israelites, right? Because Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he wrestled the angel. Said the Lord. So two-thirds are going to get destroyed here, man, in America. Not the elect, man. He's not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Two-thirds, y'all going to get it, though. Said the Lord. So that's thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible, man. So I just want to bring out a couple of scriptures right quick, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai. On what the eyes of the Lord are. Which are the angels. The angels are constantly watching this place, brothers. You know what I'm saying? So we got to do what's right in the in the, um, in the the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. In the eyes of the Lord. Because the Lord constantly watching us, man. You know what I'm saying? He has sent forth watchmen, man. So we, we have been made watchmen to the house of Israel. Hey, look, the angels see when you don't go out and teach, man. The weekends, you know what I'm saying, that you're supposed to be out there teaching, but you're somewhat BSing around. You know what I'm saying? Hanging out with a chick at the mall or something. Or going to a family reunion, going to a cookout. But, you, but you're supposed to be out there on the highways and byways. Guess what? The angels recording all that, man. Okay? The time, you know what I'm saying, that you faking like you sick. Oh, my back, my neck, and all this nonsense. When you're supposed to be out there on the highways and byways, taking months off, taking weeks off, taking years off, all you guys, you know what I'm saying, that knew you was Hebrew Israelites and you started teaching this word, but you took weeks off, months off, years off, damn near decades off, the angels were recording all that, man. Just remember that, man, okay? The angels was recording that, man. Just remember that, man. The angels beholding all the ways of men. You know what I'm saying? And they know, they know your secret things, man. The things you done done in secret, man. Just remember that the eyes of the Lord are upon this sinful kingdom. And what? The eyes of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, which are the angels run to and fro throughout the whole earth, man. Okay? So, yeah, everybody in America is being watched. Everybody in Europe is being watched. Everybody all over the whole earth is being watched, man. Point blank period. By what, though? By the so-called white man and his cameras? You know what I'm saying? And his television cable boxes and all that, and his phones. No, by the angels, man. Okay? They really watching. Because why? The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. Beholding all the ways of men. And considering the most secret parts, man. Okay? So, hey, have a healthy dose of fear, man, of the God of the Bible, man. Turn from evil. Turn from your wickedness, man. Okay? Repent. 
The kingdom of heaven is at hand. I have another GMS on the go. We do these lessons to edify the elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And with that, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Waha Rekar Kodash. Double honors once again to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessing, and safety to all you sincere items, man. The elect brothers scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay? The eyes of the Lord, man. Shalom.